Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Internet Wireless Tech Day, our first online event dedicated for wireless professionals and engineers. Today, our best experts and leading engineers will show you how do we design, validate and manufacture our fixed wireless systems. We will also explain how we address the real-life issues many of you might be facing with your deployments. Please don't hesitate to ask all your questions via our online chat during the event. We will do our best to answer as many of them as possible. You will also receive our Q&A summary in a week or so. But now, please welcome Andrei Koinov, Internet Wireless Chief Technical Officer. How do Internet System provide stable connectivity in congested spectrum environment? Developing fixed wireless systems for over 20 years, we have accumulated abundant expertise that was fully inherited by our latest Infiman Evolution series of products. From highly optimized modulation control and packet retransmission algorithms to instant DFS, which is a whole subsystem that continuously scans the whole available spectrum and instantly moves the connection to the least congested channel with no downtime or packet loss at all, or beamforming base stations. But we had taken all those to a completely different level of efficiency after the decision was made to develop a modem fully proprietary modem in-house for our latest Quanta 5 series. These systems select the modulation and coding scheme individually per each polarization or the um, central frequency is selected uh, individually per each direction and so on and so forth. Interesting. How do these systems operate when there is no line of sight? All our systems operating below 6.5 GHz can connect when line of sight is fully or partially obstructed. However, our true non-line of sight champion is Quanta 5. Its fully proprietary SCFDA-based modem is able to perfectly recover received signal in case of multipath propagation. It also outdoes competition in terms of uh, the link budget. If you need to optimize your connection for the greater availability, you can use narrow channels down to 3.5 MHz, while the system itself supports as many as 14 different modulation and coding schemes, down to QPSK one quarter. And we also provide a comprehensive toolkit to the operator for the manual fine-tuning of the link to the full perfection. Well, what can the wireless operators do when they face lack of available spectrum in traditional bands? So first of all, we are investing massively into developing millimeter wave portfolio of solutions to create a viable alternative to so-called traditional frequency bands. Quanta 70 is the first of those products. That's a unique wireless access solution operating at 71 to 76 gigahertz, also known as E-band. That band is unlicensed or lightly licensed in a number of countries around the world. The system allows operators to provide connectivity of hundreds of megabits at several kilometers and not even think about interference. We also provide mature and comprehensive portfolio of products at 6 GHz band, which is rapidly opening worldwide. But if you need to squeeze maximum of your available spectrum, Quanta 5 is your most obvious choice, because that allows to squeeze as much as 100 megabits per second out of just 10 MHz of spectrum. And now we'd like to show you a short video about how infinite wireless equipment is being developed. I'm Всеволод Доронин, Compliance Engineer at Infinite Wireless, responsible for product certifications, radio and EMC measurements. Today I shall explain to you how we design our systems to provide you with a reliable connectivity over the radio spectrum. Modulator demodulator, or shortly modem is the key part of the system that assures stable connectivity in challenging spectrum conditions. To better fit into fixed wireless applications, we decided to design our own modem using the Software Defined Radio Technology, or SDR. Basically, modem takes Ethernet packets, 
turns them into bitstream, encodes, modulates, and up converts the signal. But our in-house designed modem does more than that. As I shall now explain to you, our modem supports a number of algorithms crucial to make your connection truly reliable. Radio spectrum, especially its unlicensed bands, is a shared resource. Thus, interference mitigation and avoidance techniques are vital to deliver your data from A to B without losing it. Our proprietary technology, called Instant Dynamic Frequency Selection or Instant DFS, helps to avoid interference. Upon the boot-up, Instant DFS briefly scans through all available frequencies in order to select the least congested one for the operation. But it doesn't stop at that. Instant DFS continuously monitors all other channels during specially allocated time slots. So if the current channel gets congested, or another channel becomes less interfered, the link can instantly and seamlessly move to a better channel. In Quanta 5, even specific link directions, uplink and downlink, can separately be moved to more advantageous frequencies, thus refining signal-to-noise ratio even more. Instant DFS is also capable of detecting radio signals and avoiding them. In some cases, mere avoidance isn't just enough, and we also need to mitigate interference. One of the very efficient techniques is Automatic Modulation Control, or AMC. AMC manages modulation and coding scheme of radio based on the error rate, and if this rate is unacceptable due to this, or on the contrary becomes just too low and gives a great margin, AMC adjusts modulation in order to find precise balance between throw output and noise immunity. AMC mechanism today is certainly adopted by fixed wireless vendors, but not every vendor can demonstrate the ability of per stream modulation control. Quanta 5 does exactly that finding optimal signal-to-noise ratio for each spatial stream. Errors still might occur, even though Instant DFS and AMC are doing their thing. And here we have Automatic Retry Request, or IRQ. This is an algorithm that makes transmitter repeat certain radio packets if receiver did not get them. All these retransmissions occur directly within the link, partially relieving higher-level protocols from necessity to request retries from across the entire network and thus saving us from additional jitter. And not only this, as frequency increases, radio waves become sensitive even to physically small obstacles, like say birds, which as well may cause loss of frames, and the RQ handles cases like this perfectly. All those algorithms are sure doing their part, but overall spectral efficiency wouldn't have been so prominent if it were not for the bespoke physical and medium access layers. The possibility of designing such is another luxury of a proprietary model. Infinite's in-house medium access layer transforms Ethernet packets into the radio frames with minimal overheads, thus allowing maximal airtime utilization, whereas physical layer grants us the capability of achieving hundreds of megabit per second in throw output, thanks to operation and higher order modulation schemes up to QAM 256-7 over 8. For each 8 encoded bits, there are 7 data bits. This simply means higher real throw output. Some of our base stations have beamforming antennas instead of fixed sectorial ones. What's curious about that beamforming antenna is that it is comprised of an array of radiators, all fed by the same signal, and by managing individual signal delays into each one of these, we can steer the main beam of directivity pattern wherever we want. This type of antenna solves two tasks simultaneously. Firstly, it avoids interferences. Comparing to a sector antenna, beamforming antenna can aim the main lobe of its directivity pattern exactly at the subscriber. And, since the main lobe by default is more narrow than the activity pattern of a sector antenna, it cancels out noises from everywhere else. Secondly, beamforming antennas have higher gain, which makes possible to cover more range or yield more power at signal-to-noise ratio at shorter distances compared to sector antennas. And this higher gain is arranged in both directions too, because subscribers are fitted with directional antennas as well, which is not the case with, say, 802.11 AC Wave 2 devices. Another remarkable feature is capability of working in non-line-of-sight conditions. The necessity to arrange such radio link might arise when visibility from site to site is obstructed by major obstacles like buildings or trees. But still, a link might be built on reflections from some third point, like for example a wall of another building. Such non-line-of-sight operation is possible mainly thanks to two factors. Firstly, high link budget, a natural result of increased transmit power levels at higher modulations improved sensitivity and high-gain antennas. Secondly, sensitivity doesn't degrade from multipath propagation, that's due to symbol guard intervals that prevent inter-symbol interference. 
we've briefly covered some of the most important technologies and algorithms employed in products of Infinite Wireless. I hope you can now rest assured our equipment will support you and your business in the most adverse conditions. Reliability of the equipment itself is another area of critical importance during the pandemic. Is Infinite equipment fitted with lightning protection? Of course it is. All our units have built-in lightning protection as standard and we've gone through a very long way perfecting our systems in terms of their toughness against lightning strikes, static discharges, noise induced to Ethernet cabling, etc. But over the years we've realized that our systems are often deployed in locations with no roads leading to or where lightning strikes rumble every day during the monsoon season. And for us it was a no-brainer to come up with an external lightning protection unit to help those customers get peace of mind and have their units operating for years and years without requiring no maintenance at all. Oh, I see. What are the lowest and the highest temperatures in which our equipment remains fully operational? Well, our outdoor units have temperature range from minus 40 to plus 60 degrees centigrade as standard. But to address extremely cold conditions, we have developed systems supporting extended temperature range down to minus 55 degrees centigrade. What makes this possible is the combination of time-tested and innovative approaches, thermodynamic modeling, hours of meticulous testing in climatic chambers, thermal imaging analysis, and many other things. Thanks. What the typical life cycle duration of infinite units? We design our system to operate for 10 or 15 years or even more than that. And uh, we also examine what happens to our units after years of operation in the most uh, adverse climate conditions. And we recreate those conditions in our labs. Every new design approach needs proper validation. Transmit output power and signal quality must remain the same over the whole temperature range. Antenna radom must withstand thermal shock or must not crack under intense ultraviolet. A new enclosure must not get rusty after hours in salt fog. Ultimately, this is what it takes to develop a truly reliable product. Let's watch a video where we share some of Test Lab secrets. The Test Lab is the heart of the Infinite Wireless R&D department. People who work there every day face the issues which have to be solved in an extraordinary way with fundamental knowledge and outside-the-box thinking applied. Infinite wireless solutions meet the highest standards and are able to work smoothly in any conditions. It's because our core goal is to provide the unprecedented reliability of our devices. And this is one of the premises where our prospective devices come dismantled only, in the form of boards, antennas and radio modules. Here we can spot various equipment such as frequency counters and spectrum analyzers, power meters and thermal cameras, programmable attenuators and signal analyzers. The testing process itself can be divided into stages and teach of them the most crucial characteristics of the future devices is being controlled. One of those stages is thermal testing. In the thermal cameras in our test lab, it is possible to create conditions of both far nose and a desert. Temperature range there varies from minus 55 up to plus 60 degrees Celsius. In the thermal camera, we test all the subsystems such as power socket, wire interfaces, radio module. The next mandatory part is measuring the transmit power level and its calibration. Uh, we need to be sure that power output is in keeping with the stated to within a single decibel on any frequency from the operating range and with any temperature. In general, uh, when the temperature is increasing, typically a uh, power amplifier gain is decreasing and vice versa. 
At the testing stage, it is crucial to accurately measure those characteristics and make necessary adjustments to transmit power control algorithm. Measuring the sensitivity level of the receiver is another remarkable testing stage. Here, accuracy is what matters the most. That's why, to minimize the uncertainty, we don't use antennas and make it in the link built on coaxial cables or on waveguides, depending on the operating frequency range. A high-precision adjustable attenuator is installed between the transmitter and the receiver, so it is possible to change the attenuation in the radio pass with a step of half a decibel. In this way, the attenuation at the point of receiver sensitivity is found. Not all the measurement is being helped with the help of cables and wire guides. To be sure that together with the antenna, radio parameters are keeping with the stated, we test infinite wireless devices with antennas in specially designed rooms. It's extremely crucial to minimize radio waves reflection from room surfaces, and that's what we use specially radio absorbing material for. Apart from study of individual links characteristics, we are interested in how a highly loaded system with a high number of subscribers works. With the help of those stands, we can measure the throughput of a base station with the different number of subscribers together with various types of traffic paths. In the scope of development, every product is due to mandatory going through all the above-mentioned testing stages. That's why we can guarantee that radio links built with the help of infinite wireless solutions meet all the standards both in far-north and extreme heat conditions. Let's talk about infinite production. Why does Infinet still keep its production in-house? Well, we had our own production line historically, but this brings very specific benefits to our customers. First of all, this helps to reduce the lead times, and we aim to ship the units in just a few weeks after the order arrives. This also allows close cooperation between production, QA and R&D teams, and helps to resolve issues very quickly. This helps to reduce ramp-up cycle when a new model arrives to volume production. And also, this allows us to keep full control under our stock levels and supply chain. Well, tell us about your quality control procedures. Well, we rely heavily on the automated procedure. It's a multi-staged process and we're trying to minimize the chance of human error as much as possible and the test cases for those automated procedures are developed by the same team as validates new product during the R&D. And in the core, on the whole production process, we have our in-house developed ERP system and its database has all the details, including serial numbers, test logs, calibration data, etc., etc., on each and every unit ever came through our production, no matter when exactly that was produced. And now let's make a sneak peek into the internet production line. Our story began more than quarter of a century ago in Yekaterinburg, in the very heart of Russia, where we decided to set up our own production facilities for manufacturing high-tech radio equipment. Back then, it scarcely seemed possible. But today, Infinite Wireless is a world leader in fixed wireless broadband connectivity. Infinite Wireless produced nearly 50,000 items per annum. The production process involves top professionals and technicians, including engineers, bundlers, assemblers, technicians, and QA specialists, amongst others. Благодаря собственному производству мы можем гарантировать, что наше решение по-настоящему качественное и надежное. Кроме того, мы поддерживаем оптимальный уровень запасов комплектующих на складе, что позволяет нам сократить сроки выпуска готового оборудования до одного месяца с момента поступления заказа. While producing infinite wireless devices, we use top quality materials and components, which guarantee a low defect rate and long-lasting and smooth operation. Typical mean time between failures for our systems is 140,000 hours or better. All the components are subject to strict incoming inspection upon the delivery. In production premises, special and unique clean zones for creating high-tech devices have been created. 
Only advanced equipment and technologies are used to create new solutions, which are defined by their reliability and quality. Продукция компании Infinet проходит строгий контроль качества на всех этапах производственного цикла. В процесс создания продукции вовлечен каждый сотрудник. Мы ищем лучшие решения вместе, осваиваем новые технологии, совершенствуем процессы, внедряем все более эффективные методы работы. The production process starts with the assembly of the electronic boards. The production line of automated surface mount is equipped by the state-of-the-art European and Japanese equipment. The installation phase consists of several stages. Solder paste application, automated installation of electronic components to the board, group soldering in the reflow oven, optical and x-ray control of mounting quality. To track the unit at every production and QA control stage, every board is marked with a unique QR code. All the product-related operations are displayed in a single production management system. When a detour is spotted or some inadequacies in device configuration appear, the system sends a notification. Every board undergoes the testing of each subsystem as well as end-to-end -end tests. The goal is to prove both the efficiency of source components and predefined modules in general. Fully automated testing reduces the effect of the human factor and speeds up the checking process significantly. After mechanical assembly, the devices arrive at the testing facility, which is equipped with the test benches, which recreate operating conditions, similar to real ones. These include programmable attenuators, climate chambers, etc. In addition to that, all test logs for each and every unit are stored in our CRM system. After testing, the devices arrive at the packing area, where they are boxed alongside with a power supply and mounting kit. From there, our devices are then shipped to clients all over the world. 2020 has marked a turning point for our company, being one of the most difficult, while nevertheless productive. During the pandemic, our production did not stop for even one single day. We continued fulfilling our commitments to our clients and partners. We managed to overcome the challenges of 2020. Our core principles are reliability, high quality, and advanced technology. Команда Infinet – это не только люди, которые работают у нас на производстве много лет. Это также наши заказчики и партнеры, те, кто помогал нам все эти годы совершенствовать продукты Infinet, чтобы сегодня мы могли сказать: качество и надежность гарантируем. Благодаря этому доверию все заказы мы выполняем в срок. Такое сотрудничество дает нам стимул расти и развиваться. Let's now talk about customer care. How does Infinet support their customers? Having decided to work with us, our customer gets not just the equipment itself. We provide the whole ecosystem, which was designed to support our customers throughout their whole project, from the concept to implementation to day-to-day -day operation and to network expansion. Technical support is provided via our help desk system. Our technical support teams work closely with the R&D, requesting direct engineering assistance when it's needed. Oh, interesting. You mentioned ecosystem. What does it include? Well, the entry point to our ecosystem is called IW Passport. That's the single account to all our services. And with that, you get access to marketing and technical documents at our website. You get access to InfoPlanner, our free-to-use radio planning tool. The ecosystem also includes knowledge base with full access to our technical documentation. It includes CRM, InfiMonitor, which is uh, our network management system, as well as Infinite Academy. Okay, does Infinite provide training courses? Of course we do. I mentioned uh, Infinite Academy. On its uh, web portal, you can find a lot of free content, including uh, free of charge online courses, uh, configuration generator, webinar replays, and many other things. 
Well, it is a good starting point for wireless enthusiasts or people who are already familiar with fixed wireless technologies. But you can get a lot more in-depth knowledge by attending one of our trainer-led courses, most of which are provided via our teleconferencing platform these days. We have recently introduced an online exam so wireless professionals can qualify for infinite certified engineer status. This exam by no means is an easy thing, but those who manage to pass it become the fully trusted members of our technical community. It's very interesting. Thank you very much, Andrei. It's been my pleasure. Let us now have a look at Infinite Ecosystem. The Infinet Wireless Ecosystem provides support to our customers at the stages of planning, commissioning and operation. So where do we start? Any project should begin with the network planning to select the device models, determine geographical location and estimate the throughput and availability. InfiPlanner, free of charge wireless link planning tool to easily and quickly design networks. All you need to do is just select location on the map set radio parameters and get estimation report. InfiPlanner performs calculations of both point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint topologies. The next stage is device installation, stable and reliable wireless link deployment. The best way to perform this properly is to use recommendations from the Knowledge Platform, IW Academy, Information and Education Platform on Wireless Technologies Knowledge. The Infinet Wireless Academy has a range of educational formats, including a knowledge base, online courses, instructor-led training, video tutorials and webinars. One of Infinet's key training initiatives is its online learning platform that provides users with information on how to install, configure and optimize Infinet wireless solutions. How to get radio connection and switching configurations with device remote management without delving into the configuration features of each family device. Online tool to get Infinite Devices configuration. It generates configuration files that can be uploaded to Infinite wireless units. How to manage your network and solve incidents timely. Monitoring system for controlling wireless network health. It will help you respond to changes in the network as well as increasing manageability and scalability. In case of urgent and critical questions, from whom get comprehensive and qualified support? High level of professional qualification, 24-hour support. Our support team constantly improves the level of services and tools based on your needs. The IW Passport is used as a single login for our website, IW Academy, Infi Planner, and the Service Desk. So, dear friends, our first Tech Day event has come to an end. Thanks very much for being with us today. We hope you have enjoyed it as much as we do. Please, let us know your feedback. Follow us on social media and let's keep in touch. See you at our future events.